tell you what, we talked to someone who was in the class of 88. That was, uh, well, n knows what it means to beat the Italians at uh, the good old Catanasio. When conversation with Lucky Musiska, we asked him what he thought about the performance of the under-20 at the World Cup 2017 in Korea. Uh, I think uh, uh, Zambia has, you know, has, uh, the under-20 has been, uh, you know, doing well. Uh, they, they, they've been, uh, you know, uh, playing well and uh, and also, uh, on the, the we, we are now on the on the world stage. You know, every team wants to you know wants wants to watch, uh, Zambia, and uh, it has been a good uh, good uh, good good year for, for Zambia. When you compare the 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 differences in quality of European and African teams over the years, and you look at how Zambia was able to perform, would you say the quality gap? is reducing or the Africans have improved or the Europeans have become weaker opposition? No, uh, somehow uh, African teams, they improved because of the facilities that we have now. Uh, like now we have the, the facilities that we have in Zambia. Somehow football has improved. Of course, there's a, there's a difference between European and, and African. Here is discipline. You know, everything is, uh, is, is done according to to the plan, but in Zambia we just take the game the way it comes. We don't, we don't prepare. We don't prepare very well. We just say, "Oh, this game, we were going to play against Ghana." You don't know how Ghana plays. You just go and play, and that's that's why we lose uh, most of the game in the crucial matches because uh, because of we don't plan very well. Uh, you know, we are, we are going to play against uh, Ghana, and uh, you don't know how Ghana is playing. Or, you know, so those are so that's that's the kind of uh, uh, you know. Uh, things that we we are lacking in Zambia, you know, we, we need to scout, we need to watch the other team and to improve and on uh, to to see how you can beat the other team, you know. I think, but but football football wise, uh, I think we are uh, football is uh, de uh, now developing in Zam in Africa, eh? everywhere now. Everybody wants to you know, you know, to have a good team, you know, like what the under twenty has done. They they've done very well. So we have to keep this team because it's a future team, it's a future national team. So how how do we keep this 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 team now, which has been doing well? So that's the question. Okay, you once came back to Zambia to try to assist us qualify for the Olympic Games that we qualified for as yeah. a player. That move wasn't successful. What would you say your advice is first off to your former teammate based on Chambeshi and number two, the powers that be? How do we keep this team together to ensure that we've got a strong Chipolo Polo going forward? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> that I don't know because this is what has been happening in Zambia. When, we, when you have a good team, and then when the match, when the, the, the tournament is finished, what do, you do, what do you do with the players? You let them go. You don't, you don't want to keep them so that they can uh, keep that form. So you just leave them and go. And then when, the, when there's a, a tournament or when there's a match, that's when you call them. So we have to find a way of keeping that, that team, you know, uh, uh, to, keep, to find a strategy of keeping the team w for the moment now. Because this is the team that we have now, the under-20. For me, it's the future. What I've seen is the, 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 the very good players. But what are you going to do with those players? Now the tournament is... Uh, the, 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 the World Cup is finished. What is, the, what is next? So how do you keep them? So that's where, that's where the problem is. So I don't know. But my, my, my advice for, for best on Chambeshi is just there. I, I, just to do what he has, he has been doing, uh, he has done uh, well. He just try to keep the players and and try to you know uh, to to make them uh, you know for the for the next tournament. What is your message to the Zambian footballing family? Of course, we saw you come back to try to help for the Olympic Games. You left the country again. Are you still open to helping Zambian football yeah, achieve its targets? Yes, I'm. I'm very open. Uh, of course, I was disappointed because uh, I, things didn't go the way I wanted. You know, uh, it, it was so difficult. You know, when you propose something, 
you know, the, the, they didn't take it serious. So, so to improve, you know, when you want to improve something, you know, you, you have to work together, you know. But uh, things didn't go my way. Uh, I was so happy that I, I, I came back to Belgium where, I'm, where I think, uh, you know, people respect you for what you've done. And, uh, you know, but in Zambia, I don't think they, you know, they don't, they don't do that. So here, if you've, done, if you've played football, if you've done well for the club, they always give you that respect. And that, that's, that's important. So that's why I came back because I didn't want to stay in Zambia because things were not going my way. So the only way my family was here, I just said to myself, no, maybe next time, maybe next time, but this is not my time. Let me just go back to Belgium. Lakim Siska there from the class of 1988. Uh, good reviews. But anyway, let's just, before we leave this subject, perhaps one lesson 101. What do you think should be the biggest lesson for Zambian football? Uh, we, we were seeing our name on that World Cup trophy. No, this team is a very good team. Uh, he make us remember this team in uh, 1993. Uh, if it's a football association going to respond to good, uh, this team is going to do something good in under 23, even in senior player uh, international. Okay. Biggest lesson 101. Yeah, I think uh, uh, with these boys, I think we'll do, we'll do better in the next uh, Just like the way, the way it happened when we were in, uh, in uh, 1988, was it? Uh, Olympics, uh, based on Chambes was there, and the, the, the foreign years, of course, my brother was there as well. But uh, I think if we concentrate more on uh, on the grassroots, I think we'll do. That we'll should be the biggest le yeah. lesson 101. Yeah. Anyway, the devil is in the detail. It's about progression. How will we progress this team to actually form the fulcrum? of the Chipolo Polo. That has always been the question, and times may change, but the question still remains the same.